in this section we're gonna make a quick logo and the logo is not too important I just want it to be available to take up space to do so we're going to create a new document and let's make the width we'll call it 1000 pixels and then we'll do the height as 300 pixels now that may seem big but we're gonna scale it down when we move it to the necessary document so I'm sort of envisioning a like a butler if you will for this first app that we're going to design it's going to do a lot of stuff for you so I was thinking a quirky title may be Alfred so I'm going to make a quick little logo uh, that says Alfred and has like a mustache like a butler might have uh, over the letters uh, perhaps so let's take a look and I'm going to use Neometric, the font Neometric, and you can download this font for free from DaFont. If you type, sorry, if you type in Neometric, it's going to show up right here on DaFont.com, and you'll be able to download it right here for free. Uh, it's going to be different downloading on Mac as it is Windows, so go ahead if you want to pause the video and download that font and do the exact same logo as I'm doing. Otherwise, feel free to use whatever font you prefer and do whatever you want as far as making this logo. I encourage you guys to differentiate from the course and sort of branch out. So let's go back into Photoshop. I already have Neometric downloaded. And I want to call the app Alfred. Alfred seems cool. What's another butler name? Sebastian, maybe? I don't know. Alfred. And I'm going to go Alfred. And we can't see it right now, so let's change the color. Uh, I'm going to change it to red for now, just so we can see it. And let's make that a lot bigger. We'll make that about... Sure, about 263 pixels which is fine and drag that down a little bit there we go now I like to drag a shape in the background by coming down here and grabbing the rectangle tool so I like to drag a shape and then obviously that created a new layer here and it's covering Alfred but if we just grab it and drag it down below Alfred's gonna appear on top and I'm gonna double click this rectangle come over here to my blending options click color overlay and I'm gonna change this to white this just gives us a better backdrop and really makes the red pop or whatever color we use for Alfred and I like to do this uh, as a good practice for just seeing what I'm working on and I can delete it or remove it when I need the file later on so I would like to add a like a mustache to this logo um, and if this was a logo uh, course where we really focused on it, we'd be you know, making this stuff custom. I'm just going to go to the internet and I'm going to Google uh, mustache icon. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to find an icon of a mustache, find a cool one. This one looks pretty cool. And if I'm going to click view image, and I'm just gonna right click and copy this image and go back into Photoshop now when you copy an image you can actually paste it directly into Photoshop come up to file new and the dimensions are already going to be set at 614 by 614 which is the size of our picture I'm gonna click OK now we have a blank canvas all you have to do is come up here click edit and paste and boom there we have it now I want to get this mustache really quickly um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab um, my quick selection tool and I'm going to put it inside this black mustache and that's going to select all the black color now this is one layer and a trick I like to do is to grab what I want with this with this tool we just used come up here and click select inverse which is going to grab the opposite of what I just selected, the inverse, obviously, and I'm going to click delete. That's going to delete all the content um, behind the mustache. If we hold Control D on Windows or Command D, it's going to deselect, and now we just have this mustache. So we'll come back up here, grab our drag tool, and I'm going to drag this all the way up 
and hold it over this other file. And then while still holding, let go. And it's gonna drag it into this file. There, now I have a uh, cool little mustache. Uh, it's a little too big and I would like to make it smaller, maybe fit it right over this E would be cool. So while I have my drag tool selected, it's gonna have a box around the mustache. So if I grab it right here at the corner and make sure I'm holding shift, it's gonna drag it in proportionally if you're holding shift. If I'm not, I could drag it, you know, in, out, up, out, and it's gonna, it's gonna drag disproportionately. So we'll hold shift, We'll make that a more reasonable size. We'll try right there. Come back up here and click the tool again, and it's gonna say apply a transformation. Yes, let's apply it. And that looks good. We'll do there. Okay, cool. Now I wanna change the color. I was imagining more of like a, a cool orange color for Alfred. So I'm gonna come up here, sorry. I'm going to come up to Alfred and I'm gonna select a different color. Um, and let's come down here and I'm gonna drag down to orange. Find a darker, sorry, deeper orange. No. That's no. Being picky here. Um. No, let's go a little dark, lighter. There we go, F3940D um, is the color that I am using. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and Control C, copy this color because I want to make the mustache the same color. And to do that, I'm going to double click the mustache layer over here. Um, by the way, it's good practice to organize these things, which we're going to get into a little bit later, and also to rename uh, layers so you can tell what they are. I would give this a name of mustache, but uh, unnecessary for now. We're just creating a simple logo. I'm going to double click the mustache, and this is something we're going to be doing a lot to change colors, to change uh, the gradient of something, or to give it a stroke. Um, so we're going to double click, and this is going to pull up our layer style and our blending options. And we're gonna come over here to color overlay again. Now I copy and pasted that color I just used. Um, so I can do this. But also, you know, if I have a random color, I can just drag over the document and it's gonna pull up my eyedropper tool. So I can hover over this yellow, sorry, this orange, I guess, and click it. And that's gonna automatically turn it into the color that I'm already using. I'm gonna come back delete this rectangle that we built so we could sort of see the colors pop a little bit more by doing that. And the last thing I'm gonna do is come up here to image and click trim. And what this is gonna do is gonna delete all the canvas that isn't currently being used by our, our layers that take up space. So when I hit okay, it's gonna shape it straight down to exactly the letters and, and, and the mustache. Um, and I'm going to save this as a uh, logo dot and we'll save this extension as a PNG because it has transparent layer and I'm going to save this in my splash page. Awesome. Now that is our logo. Um, I encourage you guys to create your own logo if you want, change things up. Obviously, this isn't crazy, this is pretty simple. Um, this will do for the purposes of this course um, uh, or, or even just this this section of the course, but later on, we'll, we'll get into a little more about how to design some cool logos uh, and, and some cool bonus content.